In this video, we'll learn about amplifier power supplies and amplifier efficiency. When amplifiers provide voltage, current, and power gain, the added power has to come from somewhere. In general, they come from one or more power supplies. In this schematic, there's two, a positive power supply, VCC, and a negative power supply, VEE. The connections to the amplifier are in this schematic shown explicitly, although they'll often be omitted just to simplify the schematic. Alternatively, the simplified schematic may look like this, with the power supplies shown with labels VCC and negative VEE, but without explicitly showing the voltage sources as is done on the left. The amplifier input power has two components. There's the power from the DC power supplies that we'll call PDC, and then there's the power from the input source VI, which we'll call PIN. In this case, P in includes the power coming from the positive power supply, which is VCC uh, ICC, and the power coming from the negative supply, in this case, VEE times IEE. Note the polarity of the negative voltage and current results in power flowing into the amplifier. The input power from the source, VI, is simply the product of VI and the input current, II. The amplifier output power is the power flowing into the load, which we'll call PL. It's given simply by the voltage across the load, VO, times the current flowing into the load, IL. Obviously, energy is conserved, so all the power being delivered into the amplifier, which we said is PDC plus PN, it's got to be equal to the power delivered to the load, PL, and whatever is not delivered to the load must be dissipated in the amplifier. So let's provide a label for that. Now, if an amplifier is efficient, it's going to be delivering almost all of the input power to the load. And to measure amplifier efficiency, we define symbol eta as the ratio of the power delivered to the load over the total input power. Now, if the amplifier has a large amount of power gain, then we can expect that the power delivered to the load is a lot bigger than the input power from the source VI. And so when that's the case, it must be true that the vast majority of the input power is coming from the power supplies. That is, PDC is much bigger than PN. In such cases, in the definition of efficiency, we can make a very accurate approximation and neglect the term PN in the denominator. And that gives us this final expression for efficiency shown here, which is PL load power divided by the input power from the DC power supplies.